Hey, it's meteorologist Lindsay Gaffney. So we do still have heat advisories. Originally, they extended until about 9 p.m. tonight, but they've now been extended until 9 p.m. tomorrow night. And still, we also have those excessive heat warnings out in Nevada County and Washington County in Oklahoma. So heat indices for the next couple of days will continue to get above 105, even pushing up to 112 degrees. It's gonna be very hot, very muggy. Dew points today, we're in the mid 70 degree range, so very muggy, but luckily we have these wind gusts that help out a little bit, a light breeze through this evening. Until about 10 p.m. tonight, we're gonna see wind gusts up to about 40 miles per hour, possibly still stretching through the overnight hours, but they start to die down early in the morning, 9.30 in the morning. You can see winds starting to gust down up to about 25, maybe 30 miles per hour. Throughout the rest of the afternoon, dropping down to about 10 to 15 miles per hour. Now, we also have a couple of light rain chances in the morning. Our overnight lows tonight only getting down to the upper 70s, even reaching 80 degrees in some areas. Those morning showers starting as early as about 9 a.m. You can see very isolated and they're gonna be really light showers, just a couple of drizzles, light sprinkle. Those continue until the early afternoon hours. As you can see, our high temperatures for the day tomorrow, upper 90s, even reaching triple digits in some areas. Yates Center, 100. Joplin, 96, 97. Parsons, same. And then we're getting down to mid to upper 70s again for our overnight low. And you can also see another round of early morning showers on Monday. So for the next couple of days, plan for hot and humid weather and a couple of morning sprinkles.